Yeah. What do they say? Never Thank work you. with animals and children. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> I'm Alex and I play Jay Osmond. My name is Ryan Anderson and I play the role of Meryl Osmond. And I'm Jamie and I play Alan Osmond. Well, it takes us um, on the journey kind of right back to when the Osmonds first started on the Andy Williams show when they were kids, when they were like six years old and they were straight out into the spotlight, right the way through to their, their 50th anniversary concert. It's a truthful painting of the life of the Osmonds that was behind the smiles, that wasn't what people always expected this perfect family to be like. And, you know, the highs and, and lows of that, it's, it's very much what I would kind of call like a, a showbiz fable of rags to riches to rags to riches again. It's what happened behind the scenes and what they did to get to where they did. So yeah, as well as all the amazing Osmond hits along the way, but there are so many of them. I think there's 33 songs in the show or something like that. It's, yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> what we love is that we didn't want to lose the excitement and the joy and the love that they gave to their audience members, but also they wanted to show a truthful side of them and, and show them as human beings rather than these perfect idols that people always saw. The, the the audience reaction has been, I don't think we've ever experienced anything like, like yeah. it. The end of the show is just a 20 minute long party with, with some of like, the biggest hits and everyone up dancing and whether people know and love the Osmonds beforehand or whether this is the first time they're kind of experiencing their music and their story, the, the reaction's been the same from people kind of uh, on both ends of the spectrum. So it's been really, really great for us that we just get to rock out and party with everyone at the end of the show. So my character is Alan, um, he's the oldest of the brothers and he's there to look after the younger brothers and make sure everything they do is kind of in line and, and to, to how father would want it. And it's quite a difficult job because you, you, you have to have this strength behind you but also he's still young and he's still, uh, he's still going through the same thing that all the younger brothers are going through as well. I think because he takes on this role at the start of being in charge, you, you don't see that softer side of him until right at the end of the show when, when we see the brothers come together and, and they all um, kind of apologise for things that have happened throughout their, their lives. It's a great, it's a great role to play and a great journey to have. I play Meryl Osmond and he was the lead singer of the Osmonds. And from my, my opinion that I think maybe there was some struggle along the way. So it, it shows that trouble and that, that pain of living and growing up in this really heightened situation. But also it shows a sensitivity to him and the pressures that that can do on someone. And also shows off how much he did vocally for the music industry of that time. And I play I play Jay Osmond. It's kind of Jay's life story and how he remembers his time in show business. So I kind of narrate the show throughout. And so there's always a bit of added pressure for me knowing that you're playing the person whose yeah. life story the show is based on. And he's in the room with you every day. And he's written it, so don't mess it up. But he's such a kind, wonderful, open, really is. funny, generous man. So it's, it's a real privilege, really, and, and an honor to kind of take on that responsibility to put across his, his story. I've been attached to the project for about three years now and I was with it since its kind of first inception and workshops. I think the enormity of that isn't something that's kind of wasted on me. Like, the, these things don't happen every day, getting to create a brand new role from scratch. When this came along, I was so excited to do something that's autobiographical but also bring an element of myself to that and a sensitivity and a, a truth to someone who's already alive. I've never done that before. And when I first went into the room in the audition and met Sean Kerrison, Julian Biggs, Bill Dima, I got this immediate sense that they wanted to hear my views and they wanted to hear my opinions and my creativity and I was just, and that is just so addictive as, as an actor to just want to create and in a safe environment and I feel like I've done that and it's just so fulfilling inside. And it have like different pages coming in every day, new scenes, that song's cut, that's moved there and, and the show is still very much in its infancy now, you know, the show is constantly being dictated by the audience's response, you know, what they go for, what they don't, what they like, what they want more of, so it's so so amazing to kind of watch the piece evolve, especially for me from even the first reading about three and a half years ago to now to see it come to fruition is amazing and as an actor something that really 
doesn't happen to you every day. We were discussing the other day about, you know, we're having so many once in a career moments on this job already. We've done loads of lovely TV stuff and, I mean, things like this. <laughs> things like sitting, this. With sitting with puppies and just puppies having a photo shoot. You don't, you don't <laughs> get to do that a lot. For me to originate a role as your first job, it's special. It's a task. It's something that you don't expect to happen. So it, it took a lot of getting over and, and it was quite exciting. It actually is quite humbling as well because you you, you feel very lucky to, to be in that position. And, and we've just got such a great group of guys that it's been the easiest experience. And I I feel like, you know, it, it, I, I've not been stressed at all because I've had these wonderful team and these wonderful people looking after us and making sure we're okay. I think the responsibility as well of like, we're, we're telling the life story of people who are very much still alive, still with us, still performing, still out on the road, and their fans still adore them to, to this day. So there's definitely like the weight of responsibility to make sure you're representing these people well, whilst still putting across a drama filled two and a half hour musical. It's such a wonderful nostalgia trip. The amount of people that have come and have said I was transported right back to being 15 years old again. But then for people who know nothing about the Osmonds and maybe know nothing about their music, you're gonna come and be taken on this incredible journey about family, about redemption, about how hard life in showbiz is. Also, if you don't know who the Osmonds are, as I didn't when I, when I started auditioning for this piece, you're introduced to music that's timeless and you're introduced to a truth of what the music industry is really like and the realistic approach to like actually becoming successful. Because of course with most other bands if someone falls out or they're not quite up to it you can replace them, take them out and put someone else in. But when you're a family you don't have that option, you, you've got to stick it out, you've got to work it out and come through it. And I think there's so many universal themes in here that everyone identifies with of everyone hoping in life that you get a second chance. You get to leave in the evening dancing and singing and having the most epic time. The music is just unbelievable and the fact that we get to sing it every day is you know a real privilege but there really is something for everyone whether you're 8 or 80 it's um, it's such a great show and such a great party at the end of the night but you you've gone on such a journey as an audience to get there and we haven't had one show yet where people haven't stood up at the end and left cheering and excited and inspired after the two years that we've had I think that's really important Seconds. I'm Mickey Joe Theatre. Oh my god, hey. Thanks for watching. Have a stagey day. Subscribe!